Hello ladies and gentlemen, it is a brand new day. As you can see from our face, we're not doing as happy as we started. Let me just start my timer here. Okay, we are first going to go to what I call the prairie, past the crossroads. I don't know if these actually have real names. I have a map of my own, however. This is the crossroads. It's very claustrophobic. It goes to one of four locations. The tunnels, the crypt, our house, and the prairie. Ah, before I forget about it, hidden behind this bush is another hole. All right, our goal today is try to, yeah. We are going to try and be as least ironic as possible. I don't believe this game needs any more irony. Let's start by eating this fruit, and that makes me happy, as you can see from my expression in the corner. Some more fruit, excellent. We'll be going into this tower fairly soon. Some more fruit, and I believe there's one more over here. Two more, a treat. There we go, all right, we now have 70 piss, which we can now use on this door. Uh, a lot of things react to you pissing on it. I believe uh, Lilith, the creator, called this a pissing simulator. There we go. Ah, that is it. But that's only about halfway. Okay, onward into the village. This is the village over here. It's a long walk. I also consider it part of my routine whenever I start collecting things. We'll... We'll cover the, f the routine in a few videos. Right now I'm still introducing things. Ah! The shop. As you can see it has one of three items. This is one of the goddess relics. We need to collect five of these for the good ending. We'll be doing all the endings in order of good bad, and worse. Ah. These are the most difficult things to find. The gold bugs. I'm not sure why it's a beetle, but... Uh, oh well. Anyway, and finally there's this wallet upgrade, because I think right now we can only carry maybe 99 gold? Ah, uh, I guess we can carry 100 gold, and this will allow us to carry 100 more. Uh, that will be useful later on, especially to get this relic, because if I remember right, yeah. The relic itself is for uh, 150 gold bars. We can't even collect that all at once. Hmm. Extra wallet for five bones. That's actually pretty easy to get a hold of. And the gold bug for ten gold. Nah, I won't get any of these things. This is another one of the race of peoples in the game. The televisions. That I can even exist is incredibly depressing. The televisions are not happy people. Whoa, you're very blocky looking. You deserve to be on Minecraft. My husband was killed by vicious sky pilgrims. This would normally be bad, but I hated him anyway. Eh. I hate the sky pilgrims. One swooped down and ate my Nega Burger. Actually, it might have been a bird, but whatever. Nega Burgers are, uh, well, we'll get to Bergs in the next episode. There are sky pilgrim up in the rafters. I'm not sure what their deal is. I'm sure at some point I will be able to fly up to them and talk with them. Or we can talk to this guy who is stuck in a wall. He does not seem to be pleased about being stuck in a wall. 
Here's another one of the race of people, which I just call the 3D guys. And he's either nervous or doing a little jig. Hmm. I overheard some scruffy nerds talking about their la latest find. Seems like a rare, unreleased tape is being held by a dead goddess. Well, I don't support that behavior, but I'll let you know. That goddess must have an impressive collection, all I can say. I understand. My husband was locked, has locked himself in the next room. He is a shameful fool. I guess she's talking about this guy? Oh, my heart is weak. The constant threat of sky pilgrims is too much. What? Huh? No, I haven't seen them. They're truly elusive. Trust me, I'm an expert. And of course, the little... Uh, I'm some kind of leprechaun, because it doesn't look like a kid. I hear the Sky Pilgrims as associate with criminals. Hmm. There seems to be some kind of rift. Ah, another pee hole. Perhaps later. And a telephone. Yes, it's Spico. What do you believe in, hmm? Infinite sorrow? Well, that's good for starters. Anyway, see you around, kid. Beep, beep. Let's talk to this. Oh, is that a trash can? Playing this game has made me addicted to digging around in people's trash cans. This one gave us five gold. Somebody threw away five gold. All right. I'm still not sure how I got here. None of us really are. I feel something is watching me. Hmm. I thought there was some way to climb up here, but I'm not sure what to do with this knowledge. There doesn't seem to be another way to climb up any further. I would like to talk to the Sky Pilgrims. They seem like decent folk. Ah, trash cans. Playing Earthbound has made me addicted to digging through people's trash cans. Let's see, that gave us some crumbs. What does this guy say? No, don't touch that. No, stop. That's valuable trash from ancient Syria. Ancient Syria? This trash was worshipped by priests and for good reason, you fool. No, I found that trash in a dump near my childhood home. I will never again find that such nostalgic trash as this. You fool, that is cursed trash of... Bezel Bofu. Bo Bufo. A demon associated with trash and frogs. It will ruin you forever. You are so stupid. No, no, my trash. My beautiful trash. This is all my life's work. Why are you so dumb? Oh, I got that stuff from the Mark Donald's dumpster. I hang out in their dumpster frequently, so I guess it's alright if you take it. Oh. Thank you very much, actually. Death upon you! That is the royal trash of Queen Elizabeth. Cute. The third! Do you have any respect? No? Well, I hate you. I have a very special connection with my trash. Something that goes beyond just appreciation. You will never understand. I have some understanding. Ah, um, excuse me one moment. We must pee. Each time we pee, it brings us ever closer to our goal, which will be very soon. That weird piss guy next door is always freaking me out. How'd be this guy? I'm the piss maniac. Go ahead, let me rate your piss. In a moment, first I need to get more piss. Bread reserve, chaotic evil outsider must not touch. Bad outsider. Hmm. I actually have no problem touching all of this. Zero crumbs. Two crumbs. Zero crumbs. Out of all of that, we got two crumbs. Not that it matters too much. It is the piss that I wanted. Let's talk to the piss maniac now. Yes, I'm a thief. What of it? Ah. Aha. God, you fool. I am defeated. Take your bread and leave me be. Two crumbs. Excellent. Alright. Let's piss for the piss maniac. 
There we go. Your score today is 27. Hmm, disappointing attempt. Keep practicing and come back tomorrow. I can only do this once a day. Meat reserve. No eat, outsider. Kill, outsider, with pitchfork. Avoid meat, hedron. I'll have to look up hedron later. Hedron. In nouns, denoting geometric solids having a specific number of plane faces. In the meantime, let's take all this meat. One meat. One meat again. And one meat. That's three meat total. Yes, I am the thief. <laughs> Give me your meat. There we go. Um, no, bad. I have meat head drawn. Just leave me alone. <laughs> My meat now, biatch. Alright, here we have all of the televisions. Change the channel in this, please. Dear God. I like how there are no explanation, exclamation points to this. I have waited in this abandoned home for 30 years, waiting for it to end, but it never does. I continue my miserable life as a television. It is, is it punishment? Is this hell? What cruel force has planned this? I believe her name was Lilith. Every day I come or every day is composed solely of my infinite misery. Nothing changes, never. I sit here feeling nothing, seeing the same wall, always watching for as long as I can remember, I have only existed to watch that wall. Why has God forsaken us televisions? Destroy me now, no more, please. They're a happy bunch. See, again, it's really hard not to be ironic in this game. Ah. These are bones. I like to imagine I am eating the bones because when I pick these up, it gives me a certain number of bones and a certain amount of piss. That's an awful lot of piss now. Oh, no, not this. We should have enough piss now in order to open up this doorway for good. Just a little bit more. And our eyeball, which I don't think I've actually examined this thing. The door won't budge. It is inscribed with ancient runes, but alas, I cannot read them. Well, you do not need to read them. You only need to piss on them. A little more, and there we go. We can now enter into the citadel. Let's go ahead and do that now. Hello, Crypt. I need my beauty sleep. Can't you... Can't you go bother those guys over at the crypts? We cannot right now, actually. That is for another episode. The Citadel is a tower that reaches upwards. There is good reason to come here. In fact, we can't actually win the game without coming here. Let's go ahead and jump this. Yes, as far as jumping puzzles go, this one's relatively forgiving, even though the jumping mechanics in this game are... I'm stuck. Uh... Good... Ignore me, just keep climbing. Really, I wasn't planning on ever leaving this nightmare anyway. I guess there's a reluctant kind of, um, oh, what do you call it? Relief? Let's jump over here. There we go. The jumping mechanics are a little forgiving. You can't really die in Crypt World, so there's no need to worry about falling, even if we are in a very high place. But it doesn't matter. climb up here. That's what we're looking for. We're also looking for that right there. We'll get to both. First, let's talk to this gentleman. I am the ghost of an archaeologist. At least, I think I am. I've been stuck in here for like 20 years, so it would be, it would seem reasonable to assume I died. Anyway, sorry for the bother. Go on ahead. Thank you, sir. At least he's polite. Just because you're in complete misery doesn't mean you shouldn't be polite. There we go. That's what I really wanted. I got a piss upgrade. I can now hold up to 200 piss units. 
make sure make sure to stock up on soda at the Mark Donald's. We'll cover the Mark Donald's next episode. And here is the first of five goddess relics. I could have got this on the first day, but I'm trying to take this day slow. This whole game slow. One out of five, keep going. We're going to take the express elevator down. That's it. We will never need to come to the Citadel again. Let's finish in the village and then call this an episode. That decaying shell is actually a result of a new discoveries in science. It's now possible to synthesize wonderful corpses. Your technology sure is amazing. Found that one covered in diapers. Sometimes I wonder what it all means. Welcome to the morgue. Get a lot of corpses, so feel free to take a few. Excellent. What do you have to say, sir? I hear that this hole leads somewhere cool, but I really doubt it. I could say something about how the pilgrims are very... They're not people who explore at all. This is a good place to get the glitches. I really don't want to glitch out the game yet. I'm not even sure it's considered glitching if it is actually programmed to glitch. Hmm. Work, work, work. Work, work, work. Work, work, work. They all say work except for I think this girl back here. Nope, she says it too. My whole life has been spent working in this factory. I have never been able to do so much as enjoy it. What is this? A Nintendo game? Other children have loved so much because of their because of poverty I was born into. Do you even understand me? I have nothing. Work, work, work. Work, work, work. Work, work, work. So much work. I believe that is everything in the village. Let's go ahead and head on home. And once we get there, we'll end the episode. Let's see, I have three bones which I want to keep. But I don't really need any of these seeds anymore. So let's sell a couple of seeds. You can only sell uh, five items at a time. But it will give us enough gold for things. For example... Down here we can finally hire this archaeologist to do a dig for us. Start a new dig? Yes. It takes about four days for each of these digs to happen. And each time he does so, he will replace... Basically, a door will be put into the basement. We'll see that when it happens. Here we go. I do not believe our fruit is ready yet. It will be tomorrow, or next episode. Let's go ahead and plant some bones. Bones are the rarest things in the game, and also give the most amount of monies. Also, if you piss on the bones, it will turn into kind of a Bart Simpson head. And when we uh, finally harvest the bones, it will give us a lot of piss as well, which will become important. We'll go ahead and plant a couple of meats as well, and a couple of crops. The seeds take two days to mature, the meats take three days, the breads take four days, and the bones take five days. I think that's how it works. We'll find out later. And I guess I might as well get rid of the rest of this piss. What can I do with 12 piss? Hmm. Apparently nothing. Well, that is all for this episode. Tune in next time when... Yeah, yeah, we're going to go to Mark Donald's. Get some bergs.